Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, March 16th, 2009. Well, we're seeing another update on Wall Street today, folks, and it's a nice one at that. Started out a little slow as the market kind of needed it to get a breather, and then we've really picked up recently over the last couple candles. You can see the SPY chart. This is the 10-minute intraday chart of the spiders, and you've really had a nice little move up here. The one thing I will say is you can see if you kind of connect these upper lines, you're running into a trend line, and I want to show you that trend line. But first, let's just discuss what we see going on. First of all, last night, Bernanke was on 60 minutes. He's getting decent props for that right now. Some good little uh, tidbits coming out, how people are impressed he went on 60 minutes. Overall, financials all over Europe and Asia had a nice, nice l night last night and this morning. That's also helping the financials today. Stocks like Citigroup and AIG are rocketing higher, and that's really helping the financials and the market get a bid. Also, oil had a nice little down move early on, gapping down $2, but since then it has roared back to go positive, and the signs are changing on oil, folks. Remember, a month or two ago, even good news was bad news for oil. Now, bad news is starting to be good news, as OPEC did not cut um, the amount of oil produced uh, and shipped and, and sold over the weekend. Initially, that was a negative for oil, but since then, we've recaptured and started to race higher. So keep an eye on oil on pullbacks and consolidations here in the coming uh, weeks. The markets overall, the Dow up 156 or 2 percent, the Nasdaq up 10 points or 0.7 percent, and the S&P 500 up 17 and a half points or 2.3 2 percent. So overall, you're seeing the Nasdaq, the weakest index here, just up 10 points or half a percent, while the S&P and the Dow are up over 2 percent. Now the key is this, guys. What trend lines are we looking at here? What are we seeing in this market? And I want to show you guys as best as we can here. Uh, what I want to show you, first of all, is to take the trend lines, first of all, where we are, and start to scan them right underneath. And what I want you to do is take this line and draw it up underneath here. That'll be a key support line. In addition, what you want to do is you want to take the opening candle right from here, going back to Friday's opening candle, and really extend it back as much as you can to uh, a little point here in the past. All right, and it's a little hard to do here on the chart, so I guess we'll just have to do our best and just take that chart and take it this point right here, the opening high print on that first candle, and just connect it right to the high of the first candle of today. So really what you're doing, again, is connecting high to high on the first candle of the day. That's a very significant point on most charts and needs to be recognized. What you're seeing here is this is a major resistance line connecting here to here and now to here and you're starting to see the market get a little bit on the weaker side and possibly pull back. Now if you come to the downside you're going to have support at the 20 moving average as well as some underlying support lines here as well and I want to show you guys that as well. So let's take the low line from this point and just connect it right up That'll be your underlying trend line of support right before the 20. Now, the 20 will continue to advance into that line. So first of all, we have our good resistance line right here. You can even just connect the high to the high to the high. That's fine, too. But the point is really coming further back, and I'll start. I just started it here. Now, on the downside, again, connect the lows. There's a support line. You have the 20 moving average, the secondary support line. Then under that, you have this connect connection, which is approximately 76.90 right now. But again, it slides up every candle. So keep that in mind. After that, support will be at the 50 moving average. That's the intraday chart for you folks. And again, the market acting very nicely. But notice here, here's resistance. And look at what we're starting to see. A little bit of a red candle form. Um, something very, very interesting to keep in mind here. All right, let's go to the 60-minute chart now. And I want to focus in on the 60-minute. Here's the 60-minute chart. The 60-minute SPY chart has burst through the 200 moving average. Here's the 60-minute SPY. And you can see right now we're right into this range. Now there's a lot of resistance here. Right here is a ton of resistance, which is also coinciding with the 10 minute level we just showed you, which was at resistance. You're right on this 200 moving average. This is major resistance here. And the market, in theory, and again, in theory is the key because you want to know whether or not this market can kind of consolidate and pull back off this level. But in theory, this will be a heavy, heavy resistance level, and you should see the market pulling off the 60 minute level right here. Right now, you're in kind of a squeeze mode where the financials are leading things up, and that's obviously taking charge right now. But for the most part, it would not shock me to see a pullback by the close somewhere in this range of the 200 moving average and maybe even continuation on that pullback tomorrow but we'll have to watch the pattern formations all right this move from last friday a week ago from friday so actually two weeks two fridays ago from the lows 
beautiful bullish flag pattern here, racing higher. Uh, you even have a little bit of a W pattern here. It's not a very pretty W, but nonetheless, WV pattern right there, and you've continued with this bull flag consolidation up to the 200. A lot of signals here pointing to a very near-term, and I mean extremely near-term oversold market. If you look at the daily, you're still, you know, be, basically you still have some signs here that the market is not necessarily that uh, oversold on the daily version, but again, if you're looking at a more micro level, which is what we try to do in these videos, show you on the intraday, on the 60 minute, the 10 minute, what's going on, that is without a doubt going on right now, near term over overbought in this market, extremely overbought near term. Okay, so we'll continue to follow that. Uh, again, folks, if you guys want the more in-depth analysis, we do a nightly video, a nightly daily market report, research reports, hidden gems, pro trader watch list. It's all inclusive in one uh, one of our services on our website uh, at inthemoneystocks.com called the Research Center. We basically put out educational information and guidance, avoiding all the Wall Street hype in there, and it's accurate as accurate can be. Anyone out there will rival, if not way better. Uh, our stuff is primary stuff. Absolutely top-notch. Okay, again, you guys heard what I just said on the 10-minute. We talked about a little bit of a resistance here. You can see the market's trying to pull back. Uh, this one thing, though, you have to realize, going back to the 10-minute here, is that this is sloping up. So if you pause here and consolidate, all of a sudden it gives a possibility of an upward move even more as this line slides higher and slider, higher. So really what I'm looking for is a pull down, maybe back to this line or the 20 moving average, and then I want to look for a bear flag pattern to develop. If we can get that bear flag to develop, could be something very, very interesting. Alrighty? Uh, that's all for today, folks, that I'm going to go into. But again, come join the Research Center. Fantastic stuff on there. You'll be very, very impressed and happy. Uh, Got to become the elite traders in this market, no doubt about it. Hope to see you there soon. Take care.